when we are talking about the characteristics of sound there are three integral parts the pitch the loudness and the quality besides that there is fourth important one which is the tempo that we would understand in a while but the idea is these characteristics are very very unique pitch basically talks about frequency that means how many waves can travel in a given point of time so let's say i take a curve for 1 second how many waves can pass through in 1 second could vary so there could be one case where i have these many waves that could pass and there could be another case where i have many waves that could pass and this is what determines the pitch so when you have lesser waves that pass it is low pitch however if you have higher number of waves that pass it would be considered as a high pitch sound note that pitch is a listener's perspective it's not a objective physical property of the sound that we are trying to understand so usually a low pitch sound is where the sound is relatively subtle in contrast to a high pitch sound where you have uh, the shrill sound that is actually seen so let's play each of those sound and we'll identify whether it is a low pitch sound or a high pitch sound So this is one of the sounds that we have. Now this is a subtle sound that we have. So it is a low pitch sound. In contrast to this, let's play another sound that is there. Now this is a shrill sound, and therefore you would have a high pitch sound that would be seen. So this was about the pitch. The next property that we would understand is the property of loudness. Now loudness basically talks about the amplitude. So how huge the waves are simply put those would be the loudness. In pitch we are trying to understand how rapidly the particles oscillate. So if it is a high pitched sound you would have rapid oscillations more rapid oscillations in contrast to a low pitch sound when it comes to the loudness we are focusing on the amplitude and this is measured in the sound unit decibel so we have two of the sounds that we would play again here so let's move and play the first sound and this is the first sound again the same sound as we did previously so this is the normal tone and it's a relatively loud sound however let's play this on a lesser tone or a weaker tone so we can also hear this but the loudness is reduced and this is how we understand the uh, the loudness now uh, you can understand or compare the loudness simply by a lulabi being sung by a mother versus a construction work so the loudness of that sound varies definitely there is pitch that would also vary but right now we are on loudness so we are understanding how the loudness would vary so under uh, the loudness we can say those which are soft sounds would have lower loudness so lower amplitude however those which are uh, loud sounds would have higher amplitude so the waves would go uh, more extreme in contrast to a less loud sound the next property that we would understand is the timbre now timbre is nothing but it is a mix of frequency and how it varies over time so we can understand the waveforms of a guitar versus waveform of a piano and we can see how the sound waves actually vary so if we see a note of guitar so this is a note of guitar that would be there let's play a note of piano so there is a difference and this difference is what is known as timbre timbre is also known as tone or the tone color it talks about the overall identification of the sound so this timbre helps us to identify the sound whether this is a sound of a running water whether this is a sound of a cat mewing or this is a sound of your friend's voice your father's voice your uh, sibling's voice so that is through timbre the tone the characteristics are unique sometimes those are shrill sometimes those resonate sometimes those are deep sometimes those are bright so that is how we explain the timbre the next important uh, quality that we understand is tempo so under tempo we also focus on rhythm it basically talks about the duration how long the sound is so let's say in the first case we have so this is the 
tempo for the first case and this is the tempo for the second case so the duration in this case would vary now this talks about how long uh, the timber and the rhythm would move in synchronous fashion and that would give us the tempo or the rhythm for the music now whenever there is music being played it is a combination of all this the pitch the loudness the tempo and the timber or the tone that is there uh, the harder the strings are plugged you would have louder the sounds that would be produced so more hard you uh, press the strings or plug the strings louder is the sound that would come also if thicker strings are used uh, let's say in guitar it would create create slow vibrations and as a result deeper pitch in contrast to thinner strings which would create a high pitch sound so this pitch would also vary so whenever we are trying to understand this we have uh, a very complex uh, sound patterns that actually occur and this complex sound patterns that enter into our brain are further subdivided into different categories and these are uh, differentiated into varying frequency so the complex sound waves that enter into our brain uh, our brain basically analyzes those or uh, separates those under different frequencies and that's how we try to understand the various sound waves that are being perceived so these four are the very important characteristics that we have talked about and those i repeat are pitch pitch or which focuses on the frequency loudness which talks about the amplitude the timber or the tone which is the mix of frequencies over time and the tempo or the rhythm which focuses on the duration it is there and these define or characterize the sound and this is very very important specifically when you listen to certain music when you listen to certain voices around you we would be covering many more interesting lectures for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead